Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we go into the studio to shoot a portrait of my dog, Lucy. And using our clamp light system of lighting with a digital SLR camera, show you how simply it can be done. So let's get over to the set and begin. And there she is, sitting on a white background with our digital SLR camera on the right. And on the left, we have a bank of four clamp lights. Right now, the two center ones are lit. Let's go check out our camera settings. We're going to set our camera to AV, which is aperture value, where we will select the aperture or f-stop and the camera will automatically select the shutter speed. We're going to set the ISO to 400, which will make the camera more sensitive to light and allow us to use fewer clamp lamps. We're choosing 5.6 as an aperture and the camera automatically has selected 1 30th of a second. So let's try an exposure here and see what we get. One final thing. We're going to switch the metering of the camera to partial metering, which is really effective when the background is much brighter than the subject, which we have in this case. But remember, it's the center of the lens where the meter is. And here's our first exposure. Looking pretty good, but I think we need a bit more light on our left. The next step is to add a top and bottom additional clamp light. What this is going to do is even the light out along Lucy's body, and being such a dark dog, it's going to help light her up a little better. It will also give us at f.5.6, a faster shutter speed of 1 60th of a second, which will help us freeze any minor motions that Lucy may make. Well, the left side looks really good, but the right side is way too dark. Let's add something there to lighten it up. So the next thing we're going to do is add a fill light on the opposite side. You can see from the last shot, we're getting very dark on that left side of Lucy's face. Let's add that fill light and shoot one here. I think we have some really nice light here. Good highlights, good shadow detail, nice sculpting, we're ready to go. Okay, now we have our final light. And we're going to take some pictures of Lucy. So we've got her sitting in position, She's looking good, and we're all set. So wait here, wait here, good girl. Okay, Lucy, give me your finest look. Oh, that's a beautiful one. You are so good. Right here, Lucy. Take a look. Oh, nice girl. Nice girl, good girl. Look at that. Oh, nice. Look at that. Good girl. Over here. Nice girl. Give me a big smile. Big smile. That looks like a good smile. Good girl. Look up here. Good girl. Let's get you to stand up a little bit. Let's stand up. Good girl. Come on. Up we go. Oh, right there. Good girl. Right there. Stay there. Stay there. A little bit back. A little bit back. Get in the light. There you go. Right there. It's looking pretty. Oh, are you getting tired? Okay. Look right here. What a nice girl you are. I thought we were going to stand up for a couple. No want to? Okay, one more stand up. Stand up one more. Good, right there. Right there, good. Okay, look here. Nice dog. Good girl. Look here. Look here. Woo woof, 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 woof. Good girl. Okay, that's all. We're done. Let's take a look at some of the final selections from our photo shoot with Lucy. It's a very nice, friendly way to photograph your dog. 
Flash tends to frighten animals, and this avoids that completely. And remember to have a lot of your dog's favorite treats on hand, or a great toy or two. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video on shooting a portrait of your pet, and it inspires you to give it a try. So look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.